Yo, what's going on guys? All our Interruptiles here, and today we are going to be talking about what happens when you're on vacation and your reptiles are home alone. Before we get into today's video, I just want to show that I do actually have a merch store. If you go to the link in my description, you will see uh, multiple designs like Life is Better with Reptiles, Bearded Dragon Padawan, Super Snake, and my logo. So if you want to go support me, go down in the link in the description and uh, get a shirt. All right, so we're obviously, I have my Bearded Dragon Inferno here. He's probably going to keep running, so I do see, look, here, boot. There you go. Come back. Come back here. Uh-huh. It's right here. It's right there. So I'm just going to have to keep bribing him uh, so he doesn't full send it off the table. Uh, but I am going to talk about the first thing is food planning. So obviously this is what I look at every day. Um, obviously are, there are other things, um, other pieces of you know, greenery and whatever I add to it. But for this video, I'm just gonna use this. Um, he also really likes lettuce, which is weird. Oh, you like lettuce, all right? Don't, he likes lettuce, he's just being. See, oh, there, see, you do like lettuce. He'll eat his whole bowl of lettuce, it's weird, but. All right, so we are on the GoPro for this. What we're going to start off with is we're going to have our food, which is obviously just for, for, this, for this portion is just lettuce. So you would obviously take, he's, he's judgmental here, take another piece. You never shy away from a bug. So we are going to take this, switching hands here, if I can manage to do this with one hand. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down for a second. All right, so we have my tortoise's name, Shia. Obviously, it technically is spelled Shea, but that's just how we spell it. All right, bud? I think my tortoise is about to come out. All right, so this is what I do to uh, keep all of the animals, like their food separated, um, so it makes it easier for the caretaker or person you are going to bring to your house to actually feed your animals. Now, if it's only like a weekend thing, they don't really need to come. But if you're going away for like a week, if you're going to like a Disney vacation, you're going to want to have some sort of um, system where they get fed maybe every other day, not every single day. But so basically this food is just gonna go straight into this bag. Obviously, we're gonna get some more, not out of his food bowl. So, so obviously, every single day, your animal needs fed. You will just have one of these bags, so they take one of my tortoise, one of my beauty dragon, and one of my blue junk skink, and that's really all that we'll need bags for. Obviously, my bearded dragon needs mealworms or superworms. So what I would do is I would just have a list. You want another one? There you can. Oh, there you go. I would just show them. They have a paper long list that just shows them. You know, this animal gets this many bugs a day. This animal gets this many bugs. Um, and obviously, that is just for the animals behind me and to the side of me. There's also my gargoyle geckos and my snake. Snakes, uh, generally, I will feed them before, so they don't really have to do much with them. Um, obviously, just making sure their water is filled. Uh, but obviously, if you are leaving, you're going to make sure all of the water is full and everything is correct, uh, and making sure that these animals are ready for the caretaker to come and just basically just take over feeding for the next few days. So if I was making this list for, let's say, my bearded dragon Inferno, I would say he gets one bag of lettuce. Obviously, I'm just, you know, this is just an example. One bag of lettuce, how many mealworms I give him, which is about like three to four a day. Um, obviously, you're not getting all that. You're getting actually a few extra just because 
you are uh, you are being good and you're sitting still. Yes, yes, he is. Um, but you know, you have your bag of lettuce and the uh, and your super worms for that day. Um, and obviously, give them tongs because obviously I'm used to, and probably if you are owning a bearded dragon or something that eats bugs, you're probably used to picking it up with your hands, or if you're not used to it, same difference. Give them tongs, or show them where the tongs are. One of the biggest things I like to do before anyone um, comes to my house to take care of either a new animal I've gotten, or just in general, if they're new, I, I suggest you bring them over to your house basically run them through every single animal you have. So let's start off with, you know, Inferno. He's obviously in this tank behind me. He has all of the bugs that he has will be in this Milano's cup for me. Um, will be straight up here with the tongs. That's, you know, and you honestly, instead of just giving him a list, Put little post-it notes on every single enclosure and just, you know, this animal gets this, 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 and then you're done. So they'll just go through every single animal and then make sure they're all fed. My tortoise is making even more noise. The caretaker will generally not need to um, redo that water. Now, if it's in a little cup with my, like my gargoyle geckos, where they're just small little cups, they may need to change it, but obviously give them a cup of water, give them, you know, a spray bottle to just spray. Oh, you didn't like that. I know. I, I flicked it at you. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that. Uh, obviously, you know, give, give them ability an ability to have water just right there it's easier than you know going into your bathroom and just doing that it's just easier so after you've gone through every single enclosure they know what they're doing just make sure they know where the food is um, in your refrigerator because you're just not going to have it lying out it's just going to get gross and moldy and whatever so obviously don't do that but you're going to want you know, some, some little pocket in your fridge. Thankfully, if you're going on vacation for multiple days, you won't have a bunch of food other than maybe your animal's food um, in there. So that's, you know, that's another good thing. One of the most important things is make sure they have your contact number, potentially another person's contact number that they know the animals and know how to take care of them in case, you know, you're on a boat of, in the middle of nowhere um, on a sea-based Boy Scout trip because that's what I was on and uh, my we had just recently gotten my Gargoyle Gecko Twizzler and uh, my mom was freaking out because she did not know they changed color and it was a, you know, she was pure white, just had that small little stripe down her back. She was also a lot younger then. So she did not know, you know, what what happened. So she was freaking out. That was a that's a fun story for later. But you know, you want to make sure that you have, you know, they have your phone number and potentially the vet's phone number that you go to. Obviously, if you have reptiles, probably not going to go to the vet. But I go to the vet sometimes for. Um, you know, rescue animals like Athena, my blue tongue skink. Um, she was, you know, I didn't really know much about blue tongue skink, so I brought her to the vet to make sure nothing was wrong with her, and it's a giant enclosure. I couldn't really quarantine her. So just to make sure everything was okay, you know, no parasites, whatever. Um, but just in case something gnarly happens, they can't get in contact with you, you know, they just call the vet straight away, tell them your name, um, and I also go with uh, my tortoise to get her beak trimmed because she doesn't rub her beak on anything and it gets really long. So we have to, you know, they have to manually trim, which is frustrating, but you know. But that's all the things you're going to need to know before you have your caretaker, your animal caretaker, come over and take care of your animals while you're on vacation. Well, that is going to for this video of All in Reptiles. Hope you guys enjoyed. My bearded dragon got a bunch of treats, but also does not like being handled very much apparently because I only 
and only feed him and let him run around. But uh, actually, that will be a video coming up about uh, taming your animals down. So if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I hope you guys enjoyed.